I don't believe in science. Uh, I just like, it's like, I don't understand it, so it's easier not to believe in it. <laughs> it's just a, it's a quick, they, they could be making stuff up, you know? I read that they said like cockroaches are like 350 million years old, and it's like, are they, or do you know? I don't know how to go figure that out, because that's what I think you're doing. I think you know that I wouldn't even have a clue to start to figure that out, or want to, so you're just throwing numbers out at me, and I just go, all right. <laughs> I guess that's what they told y'all in school. Pluto's not a planet. It's not been a planet for a while. That's how long I've been out of science. Because uh, once they did that, they're like, like, you can't just jam Pluto down my throat my whole life. And then right when I get out of school, you're like, we were just kidding about Pluto. Uh, that affected me, you know? Like, in elementary school, I got a C because I forgot to put Pluto. And turns out, I should have got above an A. That's what I should have got. <laughs> I should have probably been teaching the class because I nailed it years ago. That's, I never believed in Pluto. So, said it's too far. I go, you guys will see. Yeah. <laughs> I just went to Honduras recently. I had like, I have no idea where Honduras was at. We did a USO tour. They have, there's troops there. That's where it's going down next. And... That's what they told me. So don't, I wouldn't say anything about it, but it's pretty low key, but it's gonna, you know, just let it happen. Uh, that's, I went there, uh, I was at the airport. I told the guy, I was like, hey, I'm going to Honduras. He was like, what city? I was like, I'm just learning right now. That's not the name of the city. So I don't know, wherever people go. I land. A guy picks us up. He's driving us to the army base. He's giving us like a rundown of everything. And he was like, look, you gotta, there's a couple things you got to look out for. Uh, when you go to bed at night, you got to check your bed for spiders because uh, they hide in there. So he's basically just like, you're not going to sleep. And then he's like, there's a lot of snakes too. So when you walk around, just keep an eye out for snakes. And I was like, all right, that makes sense. Uh, but he goes, if you get bit by a snake, the best thing to do then is just go ahead and catch the snake and bring it with you so then we know what snake bit you. That's what like, and I was like, there's no way. There's no way that's what you're supposed to do. I've watched Animal Planet. I've never seen someone get bit and then it's like, they gotta be like, I gotta catch it now. Like, it's like, that's not a show on Animal Planet. It would be on Animal Planet. I was like, I'm not gonna do that, dude. I've never caught a snake in my life. And you want me to get bit, and then I got to get it together and catch a snake for the first time? It's like, it's not going to go good. He's going to keep biting me. That's all that's going to happen. And he goes, it doesn't matter. You've already been bit. And I was like, do you even know what a snake is? It completely matters. There's a huge difference between one bite and probably 30 bites, which is what we will be at if I try to catch this snake. Who told you this? The snake? Is that who? 